What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Spencer taking a look at Sioux Ship, which may not be immediately uh, obvious. Although, I guess there is a painful decision, and Magic Key is tangentially related, related to Sioux Ship. So, I'll show you how this plays out. Um, Time Thief Regulator is just absolutely insane. So, I normally use this in Raid Raptors, it gives you like almost infinite, like level four uh, bodies in a sense. Uh, but the whole idea here is like the magic key support works better for Sioux ship than it does for magic key which i don't know why but it does pretty cool um you can also search the counter trap that negates spells and traps but you do have to have a time thief monster on the board that's not always super easy you could tailor your end board for it but uh, you could also search this card with such you basically special summon another level four for free so one regulator is equal to like four level four bodies you do need to run two copies of Magic Key Spirit. It is not a once per turn random. It's like literally, it doesn't even say once per turn. It's like an on summon effect. But yeah, you're basically going to be able to do whatever you want here. Um, so Small World is also like a really good bridge because they're just like really awkward types. Like almost none of them line up with anything. They're level fours with weird stats and they're like fire aqua monsters. So you're never really going to have that issue. So the new Sioux Ship support that came out fairly recently actually makes all the difference in the world from the last time i played this deck it basically lets your opponent let you add one to your hand now at this point i should have activated it now and search so obviously this is just a test hand so it's not super important but the idea here is that you have all these uh rank four extenders that only work with normal monsters ironically so this is like probably the only deck where you can do this but yeah this is a once per turn like a soft once per turn uh so if you have multiple copies you can just do it twice uh so yeah pretty cool uh so you, your whole board can actually be full of monsters um i'm going to show you something too you're actually going to have every zone on your board full of things which can be kind of bad but i'll show you a case where it kind of you can basically work around it uh you just get to keep adding stuff over and over again so double utopic future which can be good for graveyard and hand monster effects <laughs> and here comes you know hope harbinger and then during your opponent's turn, at whatever point, uh, I wouldn't run another Monster Negate because you already have two, and that just kind of feels extreme. But during the end phase, because this is a quick effect, doesn't have any like phase related to it. It's really just a quick effect. You know, during the end of your opponent's turn, let's say they set five and pass or something similar to that, or just really at the end phase, you can go into number ninety-two. It's going to attach from the graveyard. And then whatever your opponent special summoned or normal summoned that turn is going to get banished. It's, it's set or normal summon or special summon, yeah, which is crazy. Like, it counts as like for back row, not just like setting monsters. It's really actually a kind of insane card, to be honest with you. And then whatever rank four, unfortunately, there's really not a lot of room. Like you can see, I went through my entire extra deck here for this play. And uh, there's only room for one other one. This is like one of the higher impact ones, but I guess you could like put Tornado Dragon here or just like whatever the case. Uh, but obviously it's pretty good this is like a way like better end board than i did the first time i played sioux ships so that's like obviously like time thief regulator is so good um it just gives you basically the, the ability to do whatever you want at any point uh but i'll show you some more like normal hands you know you're not always gonna have this unfortunately so here's a couple of combos oops i accidentally clicked on the same one uh, i have a couple more combos that are a little bit more normal right you're not gonna see time thief regulator so what can you do when you don't one thing that is really important and i like magic key is a really good engine in this because it supports normal monsters again you can get to draw one and search a continuous spell very very good and yeah like i said like in the last one you want to do this first because you don't want your opponent to know what they have in your hand they don't want you to pick one of your sioux ship monsters you know necessarily that you already have that way you, you obviously wouldn't be able to use it but yeah advanced or high it ritual art is like the perfect card I, I messed around so many times like do i need the magic key ritual uh, or the field spell do i need the ritual card and the fusion card like you don't you really don't um so obviously they're just all just like free level four bodies that come out on the board here really really amazing yeah you can stack right if you have like all the names on the board you can stack them up the top and then special summon one basically just giving you you kind of want to leave one zone out right especially if you have double utopic future because if it uses its monster to get on the field then that's bad because they won't you can't use it you have to take that monster so it's kind of like a, a blessing and a curse but still very good right Two like non-destructionable monster negates 
and then like battle protection and then this banishes everything else this might even be a better end board than the last one like i don't even know if abyss dweller really makes a difference at that point uh and you know like i said you want to have that zone open for utopic future uh, and then I just have one more. This one's even like a little like less good of a hand. Again, you can see Advanced Ritual Art, which is just like the perfect card. Because this is a level four, and it also searches you another level four. Like that you can just immediately bring back. And the, the reason that's so important, well, one is because it gives you a free rank four, right? This is a, doesn't take up your normal summon. It's basically a free special summon that brings something back. It just It's an additional normal summon, so who cares? Um, but also it puts this guy on the field, which is super important for cards like this, which require you to have it on the board. So there was a while I was like, I'm going to take out the magic key stuff, but you really can't because you need to be able to have a sous chef on the board. And that's the easiest way to do it for sure. So I can search another copy in which I can special summon. Here comes another magic key. You can add it back from the graveyard actually, which is really cool too. Um, and then I can just bring something back from the graveyard. And this is a once per turn too, so it's like, you know, it's a decent card for extension and follow up. Um, so again, this isn't like the best end board, but I feel um, that it's pretty good for sous ships, right? Like normally it's a blind going second deck, at least that's the way I've seen it traditionally. And to see it like this is pretty cool, where it's a little bit more high impact, you know, something else that you can do, you know, during your opponent's turn, especially if you're playing something like Labyrinth, right? Uh, so yeah, that is a quick look at sous ships. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below. Other than that's going to do it for today's video, and I'll see you guys next time.